lift off. It was the final countdown to the beginning of the end of the space shuttle era. One final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. Hundreds of Americans who worked on the shuttle program will be out of a job. What is NASA for now? Those are big questions. Because Apollo 17 is the final uh, Apollo flight. America is respected for its contributions it has made in learning to sail on this new ocean. If the leadership we have acquired is simply allowed to fade away, I do not believe that would be in our best interests. Nations have depressed times as our country does, as other countries. Let's get to work and start doing something. Leonardo da Vinci wrote, for once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, there you long to return. This isn't the end, it truly is a beginning. <laughs> When SpaceX was founded in 2002, Elon Musk handicapped his chances of succeeding at one in 10. Uh, he has amazing capacity and some brilliant people working for him. And I, I think it's a great outlandish goal to set for everyone right now. NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.6 billion contract to fly its astronauts to the International Space Station. Hi, my name is Doug Hurley. I'm Bob Bankin. You know, we've been close friends since we started as astronauts almost 20 years ago. So I'm just thankful doing something like this with uh, Doug Hurley. Without uh, a lot of dedicated people at SpaceX NASA, this would not have happened. It's just remarkable to see all the other missions that have contributed to the human spaceflight program before we had the chance to fly on the Falcon 9. One doesn't think of oneself as being a hero. One does it because he knows he's equipped to do a job, he's challenged by the job, and that's really the reason why he's there. John Glenn, at age 77, was suiting up again. If you're interested in something, why not do it? And when that shuttle goes, there might be one body. But there's gonna be 10 souls that I'm taking with me. I could put my thumb up and completely hide the Earth. Everything I knew was behind my thumb. Science has a habit of giving you surprises. I know that uh, personally, while I was up there, I, I felt like that's where I belong. I mean, I laughed and giggled all the way up. It was such a fun ride. I liked the stars and the stories we were telling, but little did I think it would go this far.